Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Today on the kitchen table, um, a couple of new products. Um, two people whose products have appeared on the kitchen table before and been kind of reviewed and rated by me have sent me details of some new gear that they've both got out. So in the interest of efficiency and um, not annoying you with machine gunning out separate videos, I'm gonna combine them. But before we talk about those, it's my kitchen table. We must always have a beverage. It's very early in the day, even for me. So we're on the coffee. I'm just draining the last of this large mug, uh, a Costa Rican Tiratsu, which I've um, roasted myself. And it's, it's not quite there. I need to work on the profile, but it's very good. Cheers. Mm. So one of the people who sent me through some details of new gear is Flytrex. Now, Flytrex, <laughs> if you don't like um, what I do on YouTube, it's their fault because one of the first videos that I did was how to take the top off your Phantom Vision, the original P2 Vision, to fit one of the original Flytrex cores in because I wrote to them and said, does it work Because it's with, with, with the Vision? Because I've got one and I think your core is a brilliant concept. They went, we don't know. Would you help us to find out? And uh, it kind of went from there really. And that was one of the first sort of videos that I made uh, on that basis. So sorry, it's all Flytrex's fault, the whole banging on about wine and coffee and everything else. Their fault, their fault entirely. So for those of you who aren't aware, very quick potted history, Flytrex, their sort of flagship product is the, is the 3G Live. And what this is, it's a live flight data recorder, which takes whatever your aircraft's doing at the time, sends it over the 3G mobile network to the cloud where it's stored in a server, which means that you can then access it, that access that data live if you want to, hence the name. You get an app on your phone and see what you're doing or other people can see what you're doing. Um, but it also means you've stored all your flight logs and data. And if you want to use that to overlay onto videos using Dashware, lots of stuff we've spoken about in videos before. Um, I really like the Flytrex guys and their ethos. I've been involved with doing some early testing with the, with the live and things like that. And, and I always kind of like it. Uh, I, I just think the idea, the, the biggest thing for me is if you've, if you've invested in your quad and it disappears over the horizon and it goes out of range, you know, if you're carrying one of these, as long as there's power to the aircraft, this will continue to send its location via 3G to the cloud, which means you should almost always be able to go get it. So that's a brilliant thing. And this is this way is nothing compared to standalone GPS trackers. All good stuff. One of the things that they've just announced is that they are now taking pre-orders um, for their version that has been made specifically for the Inspire One. Now, if you're an Inspire One owner, you might want to prick your ears up at that because the Inspire One is a significant investment in your cash. And to have one of these, a specific one for those with faster processor, it's been tweaked and kind of beefed up quite a lot to match with the um, to match with the Inspire One um, available that you can you can easily add plug and play. It's a no soldering kind of solution. It's going to be plug and play straight in there. That could be a very, very handy bit of insurance to carry carry with you, um, because if your aircraft ends up beyond the range of your transmitter, uh, finding it could be an issue. One of these you can go straight to it, providing there's still power going through. Um, it's on pre-order. I think they're due to release in May for, it's about $180, but that price may or may not change, but I'll put links down below and at the website. The other thing that might be interesting of is if you've got a pre three on order, because the M, the P3 uses a lot of the, the it uses the flight controller based around the Inspire, hence why they share the same app and all bits and pieces. What that means is that if they've already cracked getting the Inspire one, data to work with the live, it will probably very, very quickly from P3s being released that they'll be able to bring one out specifically for the P3 and hopefully actually use this new updated sort of faster, quicker, cleverer one. Uh, so that's potentially very good news. Uh, so Flytrex Live, new version, links down below, go and check them out. The other people that have sent me a new product is um, the people from Bestem. You may remember them from such reviews as Phantom Knobs and perhaps more. <laughs> Sorry, childish. Um, uh, but also the quick release all in one prop guards that they did. One of the things that I got lots of comments on was that looks a really great system. The really robust way that the clip works. But I've already got the original DJI, um, you know, guards. What am I going to do? Uh, and Bestem have thought about this and they have produced for your very requirements these, the clip for 
the Phantom Clip snap-on adapter for the OEM guard. So if you've got the original prop guards, they have modified their quick release system that was using their built-in guards to be able to use with those. You get all the fixings for it. Their usual very good line diagram, line drawing uh, diagrams of, of, of fitting, which I'll put the right way up for professional reasons. Um, and yeah, so basically you take the you you, add, you take the motor screws out. You add these, so very similar to the all in to the all in one version. And then you're using the screws provided. You just screw in the DJI OEM guards, and then they will have the clip side on them there. And then you have a very robust, very solid, very well made system that is just not going to come off. If some of the quick release systems that you've seen in the past were a bit of concern because they were either 3D printed or they relied on a sort of a, a pressure fit and there was a bit of concern, uh, I know some people did, then these are going to fulfill all your requirements because they are absolutely solid as a rock really really well put together high quality high impact plastics um yeah so that's worth a look so uh, that's good of them to respond i think because people did have i think people rightly had a bit of concern about about the um the lack of the ability to do anything if you already had bought the, the the ggi guards but you wanted that quick on and off didn't want to have to keep unscrewing things in the field which is a bit bad so go and check out them one other quick thing that they sent me through <laughs> they sent me a t-shirt bless them now they obviously can't have been sending that for promotional reasons because i'm not a wannabe tv star i don't put myself on the camera even if i'm wearing the t-shirt now which i'm not you wouldn't see it so i think you know they generally just sent me a t-shirt which is really nice but i'm going to show it to you because in all fairness to them this is one of the best um t-shirts i've ever been sent in terms of being actually i just really like it it's it's rather than having sort of corporate logos stuffed all over it it's just got and I'm going to show it to camera badly. It's just got that on it, the logo from the back of their packet, which it doesn't have their name on it or anything. It's really, and I just really like it. It's the guy there with his backpack case and his transmitter flying a drone on the, on the cloudy, cloudy background. So thank you to those guys. That's really nice. They've, they've even got, I mean, look, looky here. It says, it says best and aerial fly original apparel for pilots so i don't know whether they're intending to actually uh, go into the clothing business but top marks for subtlety and actually a t-shirt that i would actually wear <laughs> outside so it's just the version from the back of their packet which i always thought was a nice bit of artwork so there we go just a couple of updates on um, some developments for some products we've already seen any questions as usual please uh, please pop them in the comments um as ever, thank you very much for watching and for your support. Um, if you would like to support me in keeping all of these videos free always, then please consider helping out by either making a one-off donation or possibly uh, becoming a channel patron. There's full details of that down in the description or you can click on the links that you're about to see. Anyway, once again, many thanks for your time and I will see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Until then, cheers.